First of all, guys, how are you? Good. Um, well, thank you. Uh, you just came off uh, your NME tour. Um, yeah. What was it like being back on stage again after? Um, the it was. It was, uh, it was. It was quite a strange experience here because, uh, yeah, we hadn't we hadn't done a tour in such a long time. We've forgotten the the procedure, and uh, yeah, you forget how many uh, how many how many well, how many fans we actually had, and uh, it was uh, it was amazing to see. How many people are coming to well, see us in all these places? You I still remember who we were. Yeah. Did, did it take you back to uh, because you've been touring quite heavily uh, ever since your inception and with the first record? So did it take you back to that time? Uh, yeah, but also it felt as though we we moved on a bit as well because the venues that we were playing, but yeah, they, they, they were quite big venues and. Uh, and uh, yeah, we um, we were headlining the tour, and so it, it suddenly felt as though we might have stepped up a little bit, you know. Do, do you prefer the? Well, this might sound as a strange question, but do you like those bigger gigs uh, over over the smaller ones? Um, it's different. At, at, fir at first, uh, we, we we didn't like it. We only like playing the small rooms. Um, but you grow, you grow, you grow to it, and the songs change. Mm -hmm. um, you learn how to, to play them differently on the bigger stages. Is, is the connection with the, with the audience the same? Yeah, um, sometimes it can be a struggle, depending on the venue. Um, uh, we don't like it when the, the fans are too far away from the stage, you know, when they have those barriers. Um, uh, but yeah, we always ask for it to be brought closer, you know. The closer the better, really. And was the tour also a, a possibility for you to try out the new songs? Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we changed our set every single night. Um, we always put in new ones just to, just to test ourselves and our audience, you know. And um, yeah, they, they, they worked out really well. They worked out really well. What were the uh, uh, kind of things you noticed? What kind of songs would, would be picked up? Or, or, or well, we'd, we'd released Danger in the Club mm -hmm. uh, just, just on the, uh, as the tour started. And uh, obviously that had an effect. Uh, immediately from when you start the song, you can see the uh, the uh, the crowd jump up in the air. They they recognise the new one, which is which is great for us, you know. But even yeah, some of the ones that we they'd never heard before, um, yeah, we, yeah, you can see them even singing along to some of those okay. or trying to at least. <laughs> would you have um, like an audience before the before you went on to? Would you have your uh, friends, parents? Uh, Listen to the record and, and see what they think. Uh, we haven't we haven't been that um, haven't done we haven't even given it to anybody. I don't think even Harry's heard it. No, <laughs> I think we've been quite secretive about it. By design, no one's heard it. No, not many people have. Well, well was this by design not to have too many people? Uh, uh, I don't think we see that many people. Um, it's not that many people to give it to. Okay. So um, when it came to the record, then what was the starting point? Because you had a quite a heavy tour uh, before. So uh, yeah, we yeah we we played Reading Festival. And obviously, uh, we 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 were gonna do a tour of America, um, but we felt as though it was more important that we'd write some songs before then. So we uh, we cancelled that. Tour of America, the Deep South, uh, regrettably, but not not regrettably. We'll, we'll we'll be doing it this year instead. But um, yeah, we uh, went out to Wales and uh, went to a farm, and uh, yeah, we went inside this little barn and on the side of a mountain, and then we um, we wrote some more songs. We spent a month out there uh, learning how to engage with one another again after two years of heavy touring. I mean. We'd, we'd been through a lot together and, yeah, yeah. Does it change the relationship then? The, oh, the completely, like it does, yeah. <laughs> it's hard with, with writing with Chile again, was, was, it took a long time to, to, well, get to, get to get to know each other and see, see, see where we were, because you get to the point of the tour where sometimes you can't talk to each other anymore and, uh, and that's just the way it goes, you know? Mm -hmm. And we had to rebuild that friendship in order to, to write some more songs. And, and the tension, yeah. I think the tension helps, you know. You've got to have tension when, when there's a, 
yeah, in the studio and when you're writing, you know. What, was this something you realized beforehand and, and kind of effectively, effectively took time out in Wales to, to do exactly this? Or was it more like, did it just happen that kind of it came to a head there? Um, it was a conscious decision okay. that we needed to, we knew that right. we'd been playing the same songs for such a long time and uh, for ourselves to, to, to progress and feel like, like any any sort of happiness within ourselves, we knew that we wanted to write a new bunch of songs. We knew, we, we, yeah. It'd been we really two years need, by that point. We yeah. really needed to do it. We, it happened so quickly, 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 <laughs> quickly for us at the beginning. Um, we, we, we wrote five songs and then we got signed, you know? Mm. And then we didn't write for another year and a half after that. And it obviously, it plays on your mind after a while. So we needed to know whether we, 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 we could do it within ourselves. And uh, we did, yeah, it was, uh, and it was a, a really good experience. Well, you touched upon it already, but what kind of was it that you had to rediscover? Or what did you rediscover in each other? Yeah, it was, it was also rediscovering ourselves, you know? Just uh, walking around the hills, and you just need to take a step back. We didn't necessarily write as soon as we got there. We just spent time just uh, like just walking, walking around the countryside, and uh, yeah, going meeting quite a lot of local people and um, hanging out with the the people that that lent us the barn. Right. Are these two uh, like hippie folk, there, right. as people would call them? But they're, they're just two lovely people who've been living on the mountain for. 35 years, and uh, yeah, they kindly let us use their, their, their They put stable. flowers in their salad, it's quite nice. <laughs> I just pick them up and just chuck them in there. Yeah, just get really flowery salads every time we went out. It was, it was a rehabilitation, yeah. rehabilitation, yeah, for us, yeah. What was the first song you started on then? Um, first, first songs we had was, um, Gang, 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 scandal. Gang, gang, scandal. It's, we always write two songs at once. There's not never really one song that appears. It's you always working on two songs, and it was Gal uh, Gango and Scandal, the Scandal. Which would, I suppose at the time, the two completely different songs. Yeah. One was sort of fast and popping, the other one was placed slow. One, one's got a similar veal. Um, similar veal. Is that even a word? Yeah, yeah. Similar, similar vibe to uh, our first album, Gout Gang Go. It's quite similar in this punchy energy, 2 minutes 51 kind of pop song. And um, Scandal is something completely different, uh, something that we've never tried before. And, uh, but it's nice though, because you had a first album, I think you're allowed to sort of start experimenting after that. Sort of people are already trusting you, so you can sort of move on a bit, which is nice. Was it difficult to get out of that wine space of the first record because you had been playing those songs so much? No, no, it was it's actually it easy in a way because you've already done it. You don't want to do it again. Right. So actually, you encourage yourself not to write those same sort of songs because we do think oh, I've just already, I've already done this. I want to do something different. But obviously, you know, not electronic. Mm -hmm. So was there, uh, well, you had those uh, weeks there in the barn then. Was there a point where you kind of had collectively an idea of what, it, what the record should sound like, or was it just song by song? None of us, yeah. none of us wanted. I didn't think we did. None of, we, we all had our ideas, but we knew that if we'd try and settle on an idea, it wouldn't work. Like, you, we were just, we were writing in a similar way that the mindset of how we did the first one, just, just write the songs if that you good, come up with, just you know? Go with it. Like, the songs that are playing in your head, like, just, just just go for it. Just don't hold yourself back. Don't lock yourself into, oh, we need to make a record that sounds like this. That That's not the way that, that we work. We just... Uh, Unless you're a genius. <laughs> you decide how you want something to sound and do it. It, it's, it all comes out subconsciously, really. It's, uh, yeah. So is, that, is that the way inspiration generally, yeah. generally works for you? That, that kind of has to pop up? Pop up yeah, we just try not to think about those kind of things too much because, yeah, it just, uh, we don't want to corner ourselves and yeah, put mm -hmm. ourselves in a corner, you know? Yeah. We want to, we wanna, yeah, we want to yeah. do anything that we know that we have, um, yeah, yeah we've got creative minds and we just want to write anything that we can write, you know? Right. And then in terms of, of lyrics then, do, does that 
come up at some point that, that you kind yeah, of discuss the lyrics? It all happens a bit thing? differently. Sometimes a, a song can start with a lyric, but then other time, most of the time, actually, we just start singing, singing anything over over a beat and a and a guitar riff, and uh, they can come out come about that way. Is there, is there one song, maybe that 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 you're kind of particularly pl uh, proud of the lyrics? Um, I like I like the uh, matador. It's got quite, quite clarity in the lyrics, you know. And uh, I I like my favourite lyrics are on the beach. Girl, you couldn't do much better on the beach. I think I think they're they're actually quite interesting. Well, if you take the latter one, where did the song start? Where did it come from? Um, it was. Um, kind of similar to Best of Friends, actually. We, uh, it was um, a bit of a joke, and uh, obviously just about about a girl. And uh, Chili had the idea, and uh, we were singing it, and we were laughing together about how stupid the song sounded. And then uh, the last minute in the studio with our producer John, we we thought to give the song a go, okay. and then. Um, and he was, yeah, he, we, he allowed us to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was just like, any idea you have, just put it down in the studio. And we, yeah, we, we did, and, uh, and I put a little riff, uh, a little, little riff on the top after every single verse. And uh, yeah, in the end, it became one of the best songs. So, so it wasn't even supposed to be uh, recorded? No, no we, it was one of the last ones in our mind that we were going to record. And we, we, we completely forgot about it, to be honest. And it was, uh, it was, yeah, one of the last, yeah, one of the last songs to be demoed.